a lot of picks on the show. We've got the Cowboys Raven picks and a lot of picks from a college basketball. A lot of games tip off at 7 p.m. Eastern time or later. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get you all the picks for tonight's action as we have a big show lined up for you. And we'll also uh, give at the end of the show, we're also we'll recap all the picks and we'll, we also have the leaderboards from the Pick Dogs handicapping contest. We'll cover. We'll, we'll go through the top 25 at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. But let's take a look here at the crew for today. We got Vlad Nadelku. Will uh, on our show today. Damon Sash will sign in a little later. Alex Smart will lead us off. Chris Ruffalo will serve as co-host. Al Ninos is in the house, as is Shane Mickle, and we'll get to all of them very shortly. Let's go ahead and welcome Chris uh, Ruffalo uh, in here as uh, my co-host. Chris, you ready to go? Absolutely, good to be back. I'm, you know, I had, I, nice to see that my butt groove is still in the seat, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to put people on some winners tonight. That's what it's all about. Let's get some winners. Let's bring in a winner right now. We'll start here with Alex Smart. You'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium. Alex, how are you doing today? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. You're going to be looking at this a game from the, uh, out in the Northeast here, Ryder and St. John's. Uh, this one to tip off at 7 p.m. Eastern time. As uh, we've got uh, on CBS Sports Network, you can watch it on TV. St. John's lane 18 and a half. A total sits about 150. Yeah, Ryder's absolutely getting no uh, respect here. And they probably don't really need it uh, or deserve it, I should say. And but there is a there is a little issue here. My projections make this line closer to 17. I know a lot of people go 17 and 19. What's what's that really mean? Well, what it means is we have an edge, <laughs> and you know every little edge that we can get over the long haul is very important. So you know just plug your noses, take the points, and uh, we're going to take these 19 points against St. John's. I know St. John's is a, an incredible team right now, looking real good at four one. But just too many points right here tonight. All right. Uh, Alex Smart says go ahead and take uh, take the points here with the Ryder. The Ryder Bronx at plus, t plus 18 and a half. All right. What say you, Chris, in this matchup? I can't lie to you. I got to agree because, you know, this is, I think, 18 and a half and up. You're asking for a backdoor cover from this Ryder team that always has to schedule up and play the tougher teams in the New York region like your Syracuse's and your St. John's of the world. I like the 18 and a half with Ryder as well. I think this is a battle-tested team, and I think they can cover this number. All right, Alex Smart here on Ryder, plus the points here against St. John's. All right, you let us off, Alex, with your pick here with Ryder, but I know you got a lot going on over at Pig Dogs Premium. What's happening here? we got a lot of action kicking off tonight. Yeah, we got some college basketball tonight, obviously, and uh, a whole lot of football coming up. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the NBA here in a couple of weeks, too. So uh, let's, lay, let's get ready to rock and roll. Yep, let's get ready to rock and roll. Get on here with uh, Alex Smart. You can see the numbers here. A plus 940 units year-to-date documented over in Pick Dogs Premium. Why not get one of his long-term passes? You see that 30-day pass. You get all of Alex's plays, NFL, college football, college hoops, the NBA in about a couple of weeks here, guys. So we're getting into the busy season. This is the time to get on board with Alex Smart. He'll find the edge. He'll find the winners for you over at Pick Dogs Premium. All right, Alex, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great night. We'll talk in a couple days. You too. Take care, guys. Bye. All right, everybody, Alex Martin here on the drive through here, joined with Chris Ruffalo. And Chris, I think you're on deck here looking at that Syracuse and Rutgers contest that going off tonight. Absolutely. This was, this is one of the games that I had to kind of, you know, delve into a little bit because, you know, New York, New Jersey area, and all these teams know each other pretty well. And, you know, they, not everybody likes each other. I think that's, that's uh, putting it nicely. But, uh, you know, this Syracuse team, you know, a lot's being made about, you know, Buddy Behan leading the team in scoring, but he's not going to be there for this game. But I also think that, you know, Syracuse is, you know, being slighted a little bit. I mean, this is a team that, you know, has very extensive depth within that lineup. Rutgers, yeah, you know, they, they have a solid team. Ron Harper Jr., Montez Mathis. This is a team that's going to contend in the Big Ten this year. They're going to be very good. But I also feel that Rutgers is very top-heavy when it comes to their depth. They rely on their starters, their, their star players, for, for, for a good chunk of their production. Syracuse, well, under Jim Beheim, this has been a team that just, you know, plug and play. You know, anybody can go at any time. This is a roster that can go 8 to 10 guys deep. Normally they stay with a shorter bench, but, you know, like I said, 8 to 10 guys deep, this, this is a team that can get it done. And, you know, you look at you look at the talent that's on these rosters. I mean, Geo Baker's not going to go for Rutgers tonight. But, you know, he only has one point per game, but make no mistake, he's one of their best players as well. Just had a, had a rough go with that first uh, first outing. He just didn't really get to really hit the ground running. Syracuse, you look at the team, they got Buddy Beheim. they got Alan Griffin as a transfer, Quincy Guerriere, uh, Joseph Girard. These guys can shoot the lights out, and, you know, it, it's one of the things that Syracuse is known for. 
but that zone defense can chew you up and spit you out. And as good as Rutgers has been, as hot as they've been shooting, I think the Syracuse defense, the Syracuse zone is going to get to them as well. And I also think that that Syracuse can go shot for shot with Rutgers as well. I like the value of uh, I like the value of Syracuse with the points here. I think we're getting a steal. This is this is a game that Syracuse could very well win outright as well. All right, Chris Ruffalo here on uh, Syracuse plus the four against Rutgers here in this battle between ACC and Big Ten. All right, Chris, you're having a great start to the college basketball season. What do you have going on over at Pick Dogs Premium? Well, I think anybody can see over my shoulder. Anybody who's been watching the uh, the drive through knows what's going on. So I think I'm going to open up day eight, day seven. Uh, I, I kind of snuck in and ate the candy that was in there. So you guys are going to have to forgive me. I'll make it up to you tonight, though. But uh, let's see what we've got. If I can, good Lord, you know, I was sick for one day. and My hands seem to have gotten fatter that I can't really reach into here. Um, let me see. All right, guys, you guys are going to get a free two-leg money line parlay that I'm going to have for tonight. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to take the Syracuse Orange on the money line. I really love them tonight. And we're also going to flip that, and we're going to uh, parlay it up with the Austin P Governors against Murray State. I really like this Murray, uh, this Austin P team against a, uh, a Murray State team. It just looks overmatched, and they just did not look good in their opener. So we're going to parlay those up. Should pay you about three to four to one on your money. But as far as what I have for sale, I'm going to have a drive-through special tonight. I'm going to have a five-pack. You're going to get the last four college basketball plays I have on the board. Plus my, uh, my my pick for the Tuesday night football matchup, something we don't get very often. I have all those five up there for 30 bucks, f- number five combo. Or guys get on one of those long-term passes, three-day, seven-day, 30-day. Tony was saying before he, he threw it to me, you know, we've been having a good start to the college basketball season. I'm a college basketball season pass up there as well. So we'll put some cash in your pocket and jump on one of those packages. That's right. Get cash in your pocket here. Uh, Chris just gave you a parlay. Why don't you parlay and, and that and pick up one of those 30-day long-term passes from – Chris Ruffalo over at Pig Dogs Premium. You see him documented in college basketball. We got the NBA starting in a couple weeks. A lot of football going on. So get on board right now with Chris Ruffalo over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, continue on here on the drive through. I'm joined as my co host, Chris Ruffalo. Next up will be El Ninos. You'll also find El Ninos over at Pig Dogs Premium. Get that site a visit if you would. Al, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? We're doing good. You got to be fast and ready, man. We move quickly now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, just had someone knocking at the door, but I'm here. All right, man. You'll be looking at this uh, Kent State and Detroit Mercy uh, matchup. Boy, Detroit Mercy gave Michigan State a scare. I don't think that game was going on prior to one of our shows. We were joking about them. But uh, Kent now opened a pick. Now they're getting the money at two total assists at 147.5. Yeah, these basketball games should get canceled pretty fast, so you never know uh, when they're going to drop. But uh, we're get- it looks like they're going to go, and I uh, think it should be a pretty good matchup. Kent State's off to a 1-1 start. Big 90-41 uh, to 41 blowout win in their season opener against Point Park and a tough 10-point loss to Virginia as well. They put up a good fight but uh, fell short. And I think they're in a good bounce-back spot here against a slightly weaker team than themselves. Uh, Detroit's not that bad at all themselves. Uh, despite their 0-2 record, they've faced two good opponents and uh, lost, bo- lost both games in uh, single by single digits. Uh, I think this should be, again, a very close game, but I just don't think Detroit's getting enough points in this one. They're only last, asking us to lay two with the better team, and uh, that's what I'll be doing in this one. All right, Alnino says go ahead and take Kent State, uh, the MAC here, the team at minus two against Detroit, and some called Detroit Mercy. All right, uh, Chris, what do you think about this one? No, I've got to agree with Al here. I mean, I think Kent State, you know, showed some heart by battling tough against Virginia. I think Detroit tends to lend, sorry, tends to lean too much on Antoine Davis, their star player. Like I said, he's the James Harden of that team. He takes 40 shots. I like Kent State as well. <laughs> Laying the two points. I think they, they win this game comfortably. All right, agreement here with, with Kent State, minus the two against Detroit. All right, Al, it's a quarter after the hour. A lot of action tonight. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Yeah, I still got a th- – uh, sorry, my three-pack just went off. I still have a play on the uh, – NFL game tonight if you want to check that out. And uh, another college basketball play if you want to hop on uh, one of them longer passes. Oh, no, I have that one up for sale as well, too. But uh, as we always say, it's uh, always a better deal, a better option to go with the long-term passes. You get all our plays, best deal on those. So check either one out, whatever you're up for, and uh, let's cash some tickets. Yeah, cash some tickets with Al Nino's over at Pig Dogs Premium. You see he's got the all-sports passes up there, seven-day or 30-day. Get all of his plays documented 
over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Al, as always, uh, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great night, and we'll talk with you tomorrow. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night, and enjoy your games tonight. All right, everybody, Alnino's here on the drive through Guys, we've got a lot more picks coming up. Uh, we're going to have the big one here with Duke and Illinois uh, shortly here as we're going to wire in Shane and Mickle uh, on, on the show here. Oop, well, we'll get Shane here carried up. But before we do, uh, just want to remind you guys, uh, be sure to, um, if you would, subscribe to our channel, Free Picks Every Day. And, of course, there's two shows live and, and more. Mitch has his halftime show. He's got that morning show at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We do the drive through here at, at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, there's a lot of live shows in between with halftime shows for Mitch and company. So be sure to check it out. Free picks every day, even on the weekend. And of course, uh, don't forget, Mark Tiggs reminds us to smash that thumbs up, everyone. You've smashed that thumbs up already, Chris. You've broken another keyboard for us. No, I'm still on number 62. I think we're still, we're still, we're still good for tonight so far. Well, think. very good. Very good. We'll All right, we'll guys. See how, we'll, see, we'll see how the end of the night goes. That's right. Help our audience out. Help us grow. Smash that thumbs up and like button. We greatly appreciate it. All right, let's bring him in. Shane Mickle, you'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium. Shane, how you doing uh, today? Good. How are you guys? Oh, we're doing great. It's a great afternoon out here in SoCal. But uh, uh, we'll, we're going to be looking at this ESPN game, the second uh, uh, part of the doubleheader, primetime doubleheader, Illinois and Duke, uh, with Duke laying four. And this one sits of a total of 146 and a half. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to learn a lot about both these teams tonight. It should be a really good battle. Um, I'm going to take a look at the total here. Um, you know, Duke's last game, their defense was good, so it's kind of lowered their number a little bit uh, with their defense. But this is a team that gave up 71 points to Coffin State, 75 points to Michigan State, and even in Illinois' last loss against Baylor, they still put up 69 points. And the only real difference was, I think, to the free throw line. Um, I think there's going to be plenty of scoring, up up and down game, very little defense by both teams. I think this game goes well over the number. All right, uh, Shane Mickle says go ahead and take this one going over the total with Duke and Illinois. All right, Chris, this is the primetime game, a big TV game going off, one of those ACC Big Ten battles. What do you, what say you in this one? Yeah, this total was definitely one a hard one to call, but for me personally, I'm, I'm going to have to butt heads with Shane here, as, as uncomfortable as that may be. Got two guys with two, two bulls here, <laughs> hard heads. You know, I, I think, I just, I don't know. I just think that, you know, I think Coach K is going to drill into the Duke's head that defense has to be played here. And I think Illinois' best shot here is to is to get down and dirty with Duke and, and bring them down to their level. I think it's going to be close to that number, but I have it coming in just under, but we'll have to see. All right, butting heads here with us, Shane and Chris. So, Shane, you get the last word on this one. Yeah, I think uh, I think Chris had it right. I think it's going to be close to this total, and I think the game's also going to be really close. So, um, if it's close, I think those free throws at the end could really uh, bump it up and uh, help us get over that number. All right, Shane looks at the free throw line here for this one. Of course, uh, you can find Shane over at Pig Dogs Premium. And uh, Shane, uh, we're approaching the bottom of the hour. A lot of action tonight. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? I've got a three-pack for tonight, and then I'm also uh, – NBA preseason starts this Friday, so taking a close look at that and get ready for the NBA season here. Oh, that's right. Uh, if you looked at the, at the leaderboard, Shane had a knockout uh, NBA season. Got close to Mitch. Mitch was still number one, but Shane, you were number two there on the NBA boards. And, of course, uh, the NBA going to start very shortly, preseason on a Friday. And, of course, the 22nd is when they tip it off. And boy, make sure you, when you, Christmas Day you want to get your picks from Shane. Good time to get one of those long-term passes, 30 days. to get all of Shane's plays. That would be NBA, college basketball, college football, and, of course, the NBA. Take advantage of that uh, offer. It's the best value right there on Pick Dogs Premium is that 30-day all-sports pass. And, of course, you'll be ready for your Christmas Day hoops uh, on the, from the NBA from Shane Mickle. You see the good numbers over there at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Shane, as always, uh, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great night. We'll talk to you in a couple days. Sounds good. Have a good night, you guys. All right, everybody. Shane Mickle here on the drive through. Uh, we're getting this little, we're getting this funny grin here. What's go? What's 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 happening here? You, you butt, just, keep butting heads with, with with our buddy Shane here. Because because you know what, you know that's like I said, that's the beauty of this thing is that, you know you get different opinions. It just I really just think that Shane just picks the games that he knows that I don't like. <laughs> so he, he just he just finds the other side. We'll talk about it then beforehand. And he'll be like, okay, I'll pick this side. I'll just be on the other side just for the hell of it. But I'm thinking back. Shane was number two. He had a phenomenal NBA season. You know he's gonna probably have another good one this season. But I was right behind him at number three. And can you imagine just? Just visualize Mitch running ahead of us and having me and Shane just chasing after Mitch during the whole course of the NBA season <laughs> and how terrifying that must look from the other end just watching them come at you. Oh, boy. That's, oh, boy. That's, that's, that's the running of the bulls if I've ever seen it.
Yeah, it's no doubt about that. You got some support here from Mason Ward. He's also loving Syracuse. He likes your Syracuse pick from our man, uh, uh, Mason Ward. And then we got someone here showing some love for Mitch here. Mitch is the king of the bubble NBA. Well, let's see if he's the king of the home and, home and road splits. Hopefully he can, he'll, he'll come in and, as well. And uh, I don't know if he's going, what's up with the beach? How did Long Beach State do recently? I don't think that's what he means, but that's how I'm going to interpret it for the show. All right, uh, we'll continue on here on Big Dogs Premium. We're going to bring in Kevin Thomas. Uh, Kevin Thomas makes an appearance here for us on a Tuesday. A lot more action on Tuesday. It's a good choice to come on Tuesday. Yesterday was a little slim pickings, but let's go ahead and bring in uh, Kevin. Kevin, how are you doing today? We got to get you off mute, my man. You got your mute? Yeah, we don't, we, we're not getting sound from you for some reason. Maybe you got your mute. You can check the, your microphone setting here. Now we, we hear something. Now we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you now. You there? I hear your fingers moving. Now go ahead and talk. Go ahead. I, I think you're working if you just talk. Can you hear me now? We can hear you now. We can hear you now. Can you you're hear good. me now? You're good. You're good. You're good. Can you hear me but, now? Yes, we can. Yes, yeah. we can. You're good. I don't know if you can hear me, but we can hear you. <laughs> All right, we got. Uh, I, thought we got yes. I thought we got. Can you hear me now? Horizon. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes, we always we can hear you fine. What well, we've got we got some technical issues here with our man Kevin. Are you there, Kevin? We'll give you one more shot before, and then we'll get back to you. What the heck? All right, we don't want to. All right, we're gonna we're going to go ahead and move on to Vlad, and we'll get to Kevin in just a second here. And uh, we want to make sure we get moved here before we get uh, unless he utters something. All right, Vlad, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do an op, we're gonna do an audible over here. How you doing, Vlad? Good, good, Tony. Thank you. Good All to right. see Chris is back. Yeah, it's good to see Chris is back. He's back looking looking like he wasn't even sick yesterday, but that's another <laughs> another conversation. <laughs> I've never seen a guy look so good coming back off the DL. You watch it. You watch it. (laughs) All right. You are treading on, you are are walking on thin ice with a 300 plus pound man, my friend. Be very careful. (laughs) I know. I know. That's a, that's a tough one. All right. uh, Vlad, we're looking here at the Cowboys and Ravens here. And uh, boy, this line's been moving between nine, eight and a half. Now it's about eight and a half, eight total seats here, about 45 and a half in this one. Oh, let's back get back here after not such a great oh go right ahead go right ahead we're gonna, we're gonna bounce back guys here after not such a great pick last week but a wise man once said we never look back we only look forward and Absolutely. uh we got football on a tuesday night here guys we had football on every day of the week so far this year and it's been a crazy year uh, I'm looking at a total here. The Cowboys, they have averaged 14.7 games since they lost uh, Dak Prescott for the year. And they're uh, facing a stingy defense here that only allows 19.5 uh, points per game. Uh, the under is 8-2 and two in the Cowboys' last 10 road games against a team uh, with a winning home record. And uh, that's all we have here tonight, guys. I think I'm going to spread the butter on the under 45. All right, uh, we got Vlad here. All right, he says uh, take under 45 in this uh, Cowboys and Ravens game. Uh, Chris, what say you? Of course, a lot of rest here for the Cowboys. We saw that with the football team, that rest advantage that makes the defense a little stronger. We know the Ravens had their issues. How do you see it? Well, this was, I was the only one on the on the morning show that had the over. I'm going to stick with that. I got a butt heads with Vlad, too, unfortunately. I just think, you know, the, the, the Cowboys' worst rush defense in the league. Ravens love to run the ball. And, you know, normally that lends itself to chewing clock, but I think it's going to lead to a bunch of chunk plays here. I like the over personally, but again, this number seems right on around 45. I think it's going to be very close to that number. All right, he says very close to that number. All right, Vlad disagrees with you, so you get the last word on Chris. Um, yeah, I think it's going to stay under a lot of running, like you said. Uh, the Cowboys, they play like they're on a short week every week, so it doesn't matter how much rest they get. <laughs> that's, that, that seems that I'm way. Stick with truer, words, truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> yep, yep. The more time off, the worse they look, you're saying here. Maybe they need another trip to Cabo, you think? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Vlad, why don't you let everybody know what's what's going on over at Pink Dogs Premium? All right, guys. Um NBA is upon us, and uh, 
jump on board with my NBA season pass and a great value. Um, includes uh, NBA premium picks to the playoffs and the finals. That's right. I'll get and on board. one last thing I got, guys. Many, many must say this 2020 has been a year to forget, but you invest in my package today, and I promise you I'll make this a season to remember. That's right. And rather from Vlad Nadelko over at Pig Dogs Premium, the NBA, why don't you pick up this season pass, and uh, you have a great uh, night, uh, Vlad, and we'll talk to you next week. Thumbs up, guys. Thank you very much. Good luck, Chris. All right. Our buddy Vlad here from uh, – you can find him over at Pig Dogs Premium. Don't forget to thumbs up that like button. We greatly appreciate that, guys. That helps our audience grow. All right. Let's give uh, our, our buddy Kevin Thomas another shot. Let's see if we, let's see if he got fixed those technical difficulties. Kevin, how's it going? Uh, I can hear you guys. You can't hear me? We can hear you fine. We can hear you now. Our, give us – yeah, our, we're I, here. Yeah. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah well, you I'm know. sorry about that. No problem. No problem. We're, th we're throwing language. thumbs up. We're we're throwing thumbs up. We're stuff. throwing different. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna do some stuff. I was trying to figure this out. I'm very computer illiterate. Sorry, guys. No, no worries. No worries. Uh, it was, uh, we, we, uh, we're going to get right here to the pick. ESPN U nine Eastern time. You're looking at this Penn State at Virginia Tech a game. A Virginia Tech up to five and a half a total one forty one. Of course, Penn State trying to uh, replace those two key starters from last season. How do you see it? Uh, I, I like the over. I got the over 141. Uh, like you said, they lost uh, Stevens. Uh, that was a huge, huge loss on the defensive end. So new coach comes in. They get rid of Chambers. Uh, Ferry comes in, and he likes to run and gun. Everyone stands uh, three-point range and takes shots. Uh, they're not the greatest at uh, rebounding. Virginia Tech, they're going to have the size. Of, I, I'm not even sure they're going to have a size advantage. I was really looking at it. They, they don't have – they have more aggressive on the boards, but they don't have a huge size advantage. And Virginia Tech, they shot 50% threes against Villanova in that win. So I think the only way Penn State's going to win this game is if they run, run and gun, run and gun. And I think Virginia Tech can run right with them. As much as Virginia Tech wants to slow the game down and play defense, I think this game is going to be a lot more points than the 141. I'm looking at a 148 to 153. Uh, and I actually like Penn State to cover. I know it went up to five and a half. I have a small lean on that, but my my pick, my free pick, is the uh, over one forty one here. All right, Kevin Thomas says take over the the total here in the contest uh, with, with Duke and Illa, with um, uh, Penn State and Virginia Tech going over one forty one and a half. All right, Chris, what say you in this matchup? No, I've, I've got to agree with Kevin. I mean, I I try to predict some of these lines before they come out. And when I was trying to put the total together, I actually pulled out like 155. So I was like, when I saw 141 and a half, I thought this was an absolute gift. I love the over in this spot as well. I think two teams are going to probably put up close to 75, 80 points. Love the over in this spot. All right. Love the over here with Penn State and Virginia Tech in this one. All right, uh, uh, Kevin, we're approaching the bottom of the hour. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Well, I was, I'm was i 7 0 week 13 in NFL, so you can still jump on my Tuesday night game. Uh, for NFL action, always check out the three-day, seven-day passes to get to know me and then invest in a 30-day package. You're going to have NBA coming up, so you're going to have college basketball, NBA, college football, a little bit of NFL left. So make sure you jump on those. But I also finish in the top 10 of NBA, so if you're going to want to get an NBA package, I'll have one of those up shortly. I got another capper out there going to chase Mitch this year in the NBA. And of course, red hot in the NFL, Kevin Thomas over at Pig Dogs Premium. Get that long-term pass. You see the seven-day or 30-day, all of Kevin's plays would be from the NFL, college football, college basketball. Of course, NBA, if you get that 30-day pass, that will take you to January 7th. Uh, you'll also get in some of those bowl games uh, as uh, the bowl games will be coming up right, right away, you know, in, this year in college football. So get in, in with uh, Kevin Thomas right now as uh, we're getting right in the, the teeth of the season here as basketball and football merge together. All right, uh, Kevin, it's always great having your show. Have yourself a great night. Right. We'll talk to you next week. See you next Monday. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody. Kevin Thomas here on the drive through as we continue on. We got Damien, another big TV game. We, we got coverage here, North Carolina and Iowa, from our, our buddy Damien Sasha. Let's go ahead and cue in Damien. Uh, you'll find him as well on Pig Dogs Premium. Damien, how you doing today? Hey, doing great, guys. A lot of great games on TV tonight. Looking forward to watching watching oh, tonight. That's right. A lot of great games. Uh, you're going to be looking at one as well. North Carolina, Iowa. 
Boy, Van McCaffrey's got a lot of experience. He's got the player of the year on, on, on with him. But North Carolina looking to rebound after a, a bad season last year. But uh, we're seeing that Iowa favor three and a half in this one. Yeah, you know, North Carolina has definitely played the tougher schedule of these two teams. This is going to be Iowa's first true test. Uh, but I think Iowa's going to be up to the challenge. Um, I, I was returning six players um, that started at least one game last season. That's very, pretty impressive. And you mentioned you touched on guards averaging – just 34 points per game uh, this season. And, and he can also stretch the floor. He's a big guy. He can score down low. But he's 5 for 8 from three-point land. So he's a guy that can also, you know, definitely stretch the floor. Um, North Carolina is better than Iowa defensively. But I think this game comes down to making shots. And that's where Iowa has the side of advantage. Um, North Carolina is just 42% from the field this year. you are shooting just 65% from the line and 27% from three. Iowa. All right. Well, it looks like we've got some issues here with the audio with uh, with Damon Sasha, uh, minus three here against North Carolina, taking Iowa in this one. Uh, Damon, do we have your sound back? Uh, hold on. Yeah, you're Sorry, good. You're good. Me... you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All good. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. We just missed it the last half of that statement. Uh, you're were, you were talking about your, your the uh, taking Iowa. Oh, uh, I, I just I mentioned about. Um, I think it's going to come down to shooting North Carolina. Um, they have trouble making baskets. You know, simply they're they're forty two percent from the floor this year, um, sixty five percent from the foul line, and just twenty seven percent from three point land. Iowa, meanwhile, fifty percent from the from the floor, seventy six percent from the line, and thirty nine percent from three. Um, they're just too good at shooters, and I think if it comes down to foul shooting, Iowa definitely has a decided advantage in this game. All right, uh, Damian Sasha, uh, go ahead and take Iowa in this one. Uh, Chris, what say you here with the Iowa Hawkeyes, a really experienced team? Absolutely. I think this is going to, you know, this is going to be a game that's, I think, comes down to the final few possessions. I think it's going to be whoever makes the bigger plays late. My personal play was I was leaning on to, leaning on the under as a free play. Um, I just think that, I think it was set at 155. I think that's just too high. But, you know, the side I do have as a premium pick. But, like I said, my free play I like just as much. I like the under. All right, uh, Chris Riffle on the under in this one, Iowa and North Carolina. All right, Damon, uh, we're, we're approached the bottom of the hour. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Um, tonight, I still I have a five-pack, actually. Um, five-pack of games going out there. Tips off at 7 p.m., um, up over 800 units so far in uh, college basketball this season. I'm looking to have a big night tonight and um, sitting back and watching the games. All right, that's right, guys. Pick on, get on board right now with Damon Sash. He is red hot right now in college basketball. Over 800 units of profit that's documented as we talk about the best value at Pick Dogs Premium is getting those long-term passes. You see he's got a three, a seven, and a third-day pass. That's all the plays that Damon releases up on the site. It could be college basketball. It would be uh, college football, the NFL. NBA starts in a couple weeks, so get on board with Damon Sosh. You can see the results have been very good uh, as documented over at Pick Dogs Premium. All right, Damon, it's always great having your show. Have yourself a great night, and we will talk with you in a couple days. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right, ready to hear Damon Sash here on the drive through as we continue on, as uh, we did get someone here. Ashley, wait, want to know if we gave a St. John's pick. We did, and we will recap all the plays at the end of the show. And we'll also, at, at, at the end of the show, we'll we go over the leaderboards in the uh, Pig Dogs Handicapper Contest. We'll go over the top 25, and we'll try and do that every day. As long as the, the graders get me the picks, I'll have the graphic ready. That's really how it works, right, Chris? Absolutely. I mean, we're, we've been trying to get it out for a few days now, but uh, just for whatever reason, didn't pan out for us. But we've got it going today. Going to have the sports chat one out tomorrow, hopefully. So just keep your eyes peeled and guys, don't change your strategy. Even if you're on the leaderboard, off the leaderboard, one day, it's not going to hurt you. Just got to keep plugging away. It's it's a marathon, not a sprint. We've still got over three weeks to go. So this is going to be a great, great way to finish the month. That's right. Great way to finish the month. All right. Now it's time for yours truly here for my uh, pick. And we're going to look at this UC Irvine and USC game. We're going to take USC Trojans minus the 10. Now, this is an inexperienced Irvine team that loses four starters from last year. They're all seniors and they played a lot of years with this Irvine team. That's their big loss here. And their eaters pounded 86 70 to Pepperdine, 77 to 58 to San Diego State. San Diego State putting up 77 points. What's going on with this defense here for Irvine? You know, their shooting, ball handling, defense, and rebounding have been poor uh, this year with this squad. 
You know, the Anteaters bench gets gets 45% of the minutes. They're searching for answers with this team. Now, the Trojans, 3-1, and one, they've been tested. They're efficient on both ends of the court, especially on the inside near the bucket. I think that's where the difference is going to be. Trojans have size of the second biggest team in the nation. They have a 14-point home win to Montana at home. They, they beat uh, BYU on a neutral court by 26. They should handle Irvine here. I like USC minus the 10. What say you, Chris? I can't disagree with you. I mean, you look at Irvine. You know, when your bench gets 45% of the minutes, I think that tells me that you're looking for answers. You're looking for something that's going to click. And if if it continues to stay around 45%, it means that you haven't found it yet. And I still think that Irvine's in for a long night. I, I If you can crush BYU by 26 on a neutral floor, you can crush Irvine at home by 11. So I, I like uh, I like USC laying the points as well. Uh, Great here with USC and the points. Guys, you can check out Pig Dog Stream. I have the... Uh... The uh, Ravens-Cowboys play up there for you. And, of course, my long-term passes as well, 7-30 uh, and 30 day pass over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, uh, uh, why don't we say we go ahead uh, right now, Chris, and we'll recap the, sh- the, the show picks, and then we'll get, to the, we'll get to the leaderboard. So let's go ahead and recap the picks from today. We've got El Nino's with us here as well. Alex got it all started with, with us, and he said, uh, Alex Smart says, take Ryder plus the 18.5 against St. John. So, Ashley, there's our St. John pick. Go against him. And uh, Chris was on Syracuse, uh, plus the four against Rutgers. Al Nino's, Kent State, minus two against Detroit. Shane was Duke, Illinois, over 146.5. Kevin Thomas, Penn State, Virginia Tech, over 141.5. Vlad was on the Cowboys, Ravens, under 45. Damon Sash, Iowa, minus three against North Carolina. Yours truly on USC, minus 10 against UC Irvine. All right, let's go with Al Nino's. Other than your pick, I'm sorry, let's go start with Chris. Chris, other than your pick, which one do you like the best? <laughs> I, I think I saved the best for last. I got to go with you, Tony. I like that USC lay in the 10 against UC Irvine. I think that's at least a 15 point win for the Trojans. All right, you got agreement there with Chris on USC laying the 10. All right, Al, what say you? Other than your pick, which one do you like the best? Uh, I really liked uh, the under in the NFL game, but I do agree with you as well that USC minus 10 is probably my favorite one on there. Maybe it's just a Trojan fan thing, but I like to play. All right. We all agree on that USC minus 10. And I like uh, I like that Iowa minus three against North Carolina, uh, even if it's three and a half. I like that uh, Iowa offense here. North Carolina not shooting the ball very well this season. All right, Al, have yourself a good night. It's time for, uh, for Chris and I to go over this um, – to go over the, the leaderboards, let's take a look here at the Pig Dogs Top 10 Capper Contest leaderboard. Uh, Joseph Peru, 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 plus 870 units. I think he probably is from New Orleans. What do, what do you think, Chris? <laughs> New Orleans or Canada, one of the two. I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. Yeah, and of course, uh, Jason Robert there, uh, Robert at plus 770. Uh, and of course, you guys can see there the top 10. Let's go ahead and, and show you guys uh, 11 through 25. And you can see here, it's really close, 385 to 870. So less than, uh, if my math is there, about uh, 400, and, almost, almost a little under 400 units. Actually, my math is terrible. Almost 500 units of profits separate the number one to 25, which tells me, Chris, that it's a tight contest and it's still a lot of time to, for, 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 these, for these cappers here to catch up. Well, we, we say to everybody, you know, two, we max three picks a day. You do three three spread picks and you go hot over two days and whoever's in the lead has two bad days. All of a sudden, you guys could flip flop positions and even if you catch a couple nice money line dogs that you feel good about, that could put you right up there as well. But rest assured, like I said, this is a marathon, not a sprint. We're only a quarter of the way through the month, if that. And that's telling you that we got a tight race early. Oh man, I think it's going to be tight going through the rest of the way as well. Yeah, it's going to be tied the rest of the way, guys. Make sure you get those picks in. Check it out over at the Facebook group. It's Pig Dogs. It, it's two separate Facebook groups. It's Pig Dogs and it's the Sports Chat Place uh, uh, Facebook group. Chris? Yes, we have one for Pick Dogs and one for Sports Chat Place. we got all our threads there. we got the, the daily threads where you submit the picks. we got the write-up thread in case anybody kind of wants to do an audition for a, for a writing spot in case they don't win the Capra contest. We're, we're always looking and you know, we're, we're looking for talent and if you if you can write, if you got the gift of of, of the gab, you, you can write. We'll always uh, we'll always give you a look, and that's that's why we got everything there. But again, you know, it's in the two Facebook groups. Those are going to be your best spots to uh, to find us and to to post your picks and keep everything going. Absolutely. All right. Uh, just a reminder, guys. Um, uh, we'll have the sports chat uh, leaderboard tomorrow, and of course, we'll try and update. Uh, we'll try and update. Uh, let's see here. Oop. 
We'll try and update the leaderboards every day here uh, with, with the Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. But tomorrow we'll have the Sports Chat Place leaderboards and we'll cover the leaderboards on each show. So be sure to tune in to drive, to drive through. And of course, uh, we're here Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time with, with picks from the primetime games. And so be sure to tune in. Of course, it all gets started at 10 a.m. Eastern Time with the morning show with Mitch and Cup. And don't forget, we got a football game tonight. So that means halftime show with Mitch. So halftime picks, Ravens, Cowboys. So when that game goes to halftime, check those notifications. You'll have Mitch live, live, live on the air with halftime picks, second half picks from the Ravens and Cowboys. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the crew from today. Let's give everyone a, a, a good wave. Goodbye. Best of luck from our buddy Vlad. Have a good night.